Hey guys, I'm Ashley Jenkins and Tokyo Game Show is underway, bringing with it all those details we want ahead of Sony's PlayStation 4 launch in November. Sony is leaning heavily on indie devs to avoid the software droughts that typically occur with major console launches as big studios either aim for launch or several months down the road. Sony Worldwide Studios president Shuhei Yoshida believes that indie devs are more likely to release continuously through the year as they finish their projects, which will keep gamers busy between major releases. They're also planning to use Gaikai to launch a digital library of PS3 games which will be playable on PlayStation 4 and Vita sometime in 2014 for North America, which depending on their timing, could also help fill that AAA drought with gaming content. No word yet on a European launch for Sony's cloud-based service. As we've known for a while now, Sony is concerned that the high-speed internet access is not very consistent across Europe, which is the likely holdup. They're working with many of the biggest ISPs in that region to put together packages that will support PS4's ambitions, but those kinds of partnerships take time. They're going to need to push hard on the content front if they want to reach their sales goal, which is to move 5 million PS4s by March of next year. Considering the PS3 sold 3.5 million consoles in roughly the same time at its launch, it's an ambitious goal. But a $400 price point and more than 1 million pre-orders, I mean the Sony has every right to be optimistic. They're doing what they can to court more casual mainstream gamers as well, through features like PS4's real name IDs, which display your real name instead of your moniker. It's an entirely optional feature, but Sony hopes it will help gamers who aren't comfortable receiving friend requests from names they don't know to jump into the online world. But they're not counting out the hardest of hardcore gamers either. They've announced that the PS4 will support game capture via HDMI, which wasn't available on the PS3. It's great news for gameplay video creators and demonstrates that Sony sees value in gamers sharing their gameplay experiences with others, above and beyond the Ustream and Twitch support they've previously announced. Sony has also announced that their PlayStation app, which will allow iOS and Android smartphones to function as a second screen for PlayStation 4, will be available in November with the launch of the console. In addition to that second screen functionality, the app will allow you to chat with friends, make purchases on the PlayStation Store, manage multiplayer invitations, and review your trophies. They initially announced the app at their PS4 reveal in February, but this is the first time since then they've really shared details about what's in store. Expect more hardware and software announcements as Tokyo Game Show continues throughout the week. And let us know what kinds of videos you'd like us to make for PS3 and PS4 games now that we can do it more easily. And remember to visit roosterteeth.com for more of our stuff. You checked out all the videos our achievement hunters make, right? They're going all out making GTA 5 Let's Plays for you right now.